solve x to the third power minus 27 equals 0. You might be able to see right away that 3 to the third power is 27, so 3 to the third power minus 27 does equal 0. So we'll find that 3 is one of the solutions. But we're also going to factor this, and we're going to find uh, a couple of the solutions are complex numbers as well. They have an, an imaginary component. You can factor this difference of cubes, that, that is x to the third minus a to the third, in general as x minus a multiplied by x squared plus ax plus a squared. So in this case, we have um, x to the third minus 3 cubed. That's, that's what our, uh, our difference of cubes is here. So I'm going to factor that as x minus 3, just following this pattern that we have for the general form, x minus 3 times the quantity x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared, or that is 9. And that still equals 0. That gives us two mini equations. That gives us x minus 3 equals 0, or x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. And if x minus 3 equals 0, then we could add 3 to each side and get what we already suspected, that x equals 3 is one of the solutions. We're also going to look at uh, this other equation, and we cannot factor that, not over the real numbers anyway. So we'll use this quadratic formula. Remember that quadratic formula as x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, whereas uh, our a is 1, our b is positive 3, and our c is positive 9. I'll label those real quickly. All right, let's plug that in then. I'm going to switch to a green color. X equals the opposite of 3, so negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times A is 1 times C is 9 all over 2 times A, so all over 2 times 1. And simplifying, we get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 36. 9 minus 36 would be negative 27. Yes, 9 minus 36 is negative 27, all over 2. Uh, we can't take the square root of, of 27, and we certainly can't take the square root of a negative number, so we have to go into the imaginary numbers. So this is x equals negative 3 plus or minus i times the square root of 27. We factored out a square root of negative 1 there, all over 2. Or I'm going to write this up here under our other solution. We also have, I'm going to say and, because we have x equals 3 is one of the solutions, and x equals negative 3 halves plus i times the square root of 27 over 2, and x equals negative 3 halves minus i square roots of 27 over 2. So we have our three solutions, one real number solution and two complex number solutions to that factorable cubic equation.